so I decided to pause, and Tails is like, Oh god, here we go again. Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Sonic 2. On the last episode, we beat Metropolis Zone and Oil Ocean, not in that order. So now we're doing Sky Chase, and Sky Chase has always been uh, a nice, relaxing time for me. Though I've never been too great at it, I've never exactly been that bad at it. I guess. I don't know. It's kind of like, just there, it's nice. And of course, this was referenced in Sonic 4 Episode 2 as well, which had a flight section. Really? Turtle OP, man. Not gonna lie. That guy, broken as hell, needs nerf. But, uh, I don't know. The flying section in Sonic 4 Episode 2 wasn't as memorable as this, considering it doesn't... Oh, I mean, this particular one doesn't have an annoying fucking section where you have to ricochet balls back to Metal Sonic. But, you know, I'm sure someone can hack that in if they really want to. Because, you know, you, you hate life, so why not? I guess. I don't know why you'd want to do that. I'm surprised someone hasn't, actually. Unless someone has, and I just don't know. But, yeah, no, some of these enemies are a little annoying. Uh, mainly the turtles, funny enough. Although the little flying buzzards are a bit annoying, but they're not that bad, honestly. Overall, it's just a nice relaxing stage after all the uh, after all the hell that Metropolis Zone might have given you or any of the previous stages trying to pressure you into going fast. I mean, you are Sonic after all. It's just nice to chill out to the, the lovely music and relax killing some bad nicks, getting extra lives for reaching 350,000 points. I didn't even realize we were coming up to that. Ah, it's nice and relaxing. I'm a ride on a turtle to victory. Now, I always used to think you could like slide off the plane, but uh, you cannot. At least I don't believe you can. <laughs> And here's, here's Wing Fortress Zone. Oh no, some lasers going on. Tails, get out of the way. No. Now you can actually stay on Tails down there and he will just fall and you'll die pretty much. And that's it. That's the end. It's pretty easy to get supersonic in this stage purely because of how many rings they give you at the very beginning, providing you don't get hit anyway, which uh, can actually happen quite a bit. Now, to go the proper way, you have to go down there and continue to go that way, yeah, jumping a few things. But I like to just jump right here and get caught up in the in the fan there. Supersonic, all of a sudden, for no reason. And uh, do it the cheaty way. Of course, I'm gonna go up here and get this extra life, because why not, I guess? I don't know, there's no reason not to get it. Hey! And so from there, the rest of the stage is pretty simple. Pretty easy. Especially considering, considering I can run through it at the speed of sound. Still a lot of fun to just zip through. This actually has uh, really good terrain for Supersonic, considering. It's uh, just a big old flatland here. Get as many rings as possible so we can keep the, the Super. Providing I can actually control the Super. Going all over the place. Up and down and all around. There we go. Now this section might be a little bit of a pain, what with the supersonic speed and everything. So I'm gonna have to be a bit more careful than I usually am on this section. Up, move up. Oh god, no, don't jump too high or else I'm gonna... There we go. Don't even can! Oh my god. I forgot about the one that was on that side. That could have been very... Very, uh, messy. Very quickly there. Thankfully we got the recovery though. I don't know if there's anything up here. I don't remember if there's anything up in these areas. Oh hey, there's a box. Grab that, I guess. Whoop! Oh my god! Now, there is an extra life you can get around here. I'm not gonna show it off, because... One, I don't exactly remember how to do it. And two... I believe it can kill you if you fuck it up, so I'd rather not. 
I'd just like to keep the boss, uh, or rather, I'd just like to keep the supersonic for this boss, because get over and done with. Because we need to go and defeat that Robotnik. Yeah, though, if you actually jump over here, we get an extra life. Uh, uh, I didn't know you could do that. What? Oh my god, mind blown. Holy shit. That was amazing. Well, I didn't know you could die there. That's the first time in years of Sonic have I ever done that. Wow. Okay. You know what? I'll take it. Best death ever. Oh my god. But now I get to fight this boss legit, I guess. Which is cool. I mean, I, I don't mind fighting this boss legit. It's out. It's uh, not too hard, he said. And then got hit by everything ever. Oh, it doesn't move when it's charging up its laser? Oh, it moves when it's firing its laser. Okay. I'm used to the other one, I guess. The one from Sonic and Knuckles. They get a flying battery. Okay, I can't. There we go. And I think that extra life will come back. Actually, I'm not sure. Do extra lives respawn in this game? I don't think they do, do they? I'll check. Oh, it does. Okay. I can't remember. Some games make it so it doesn't. There we go. Yeah, that was what was meant to happen. Wait, where's Eggman now, though? Wasn't he meant to fly at What? <laughs> I think I broke everything. <laughs> oh, man. This scene was always one of my favorites. I always used to dig this scene. Like, oh, I gotta catch up. There we go. Now we're flying into space. I also really like the design of the rocket, even though it's a little bit weird. It is neat looking. Takes up the whole screen, jeez. Alright, now here comes the annoying part, the final boss. Now, I used to have an issue with the final boss, and I actually mentioned this in when I did the hack Robotics Revenge, is it? Is that the, uh, the boss rush, essentially? And every- oh! <laughs> Everyone has different methods for taking down Silver Sonic. Um, but I, I just like to play it cool. Some people like the spin dash. I like to try and get little jumps off on him. Up. Oh. And be very careful about it. There we go, that should do it. But yeah, no, this, the final boss, has always been a bit of a weird one for me. A bit of a weird one. Because uh, I like to jump at him early, and sometimes it doesn't register properly. So I'll fall through him and hit his hand when I was not meant to. So like I like to attack him when he's walking along. But sometimes it didn't work. I don't know. It's weird. Whatever. I can take my time though. I'm not in any hurry. When he does that move, I spin dash, and he will shoot his hands that can't actually reach me this far away. So the remake of this for... Is it the second one, or is it the first? I think it's actually the first Sonic 4, isn't it? Also, I try to occasionally attack him when he does that, when he uh, lands. Doesn't always work. <laughs> but yeah, if you take your time, this boss is actually fairly easy. It's actually... A lot of it used to be because I used to try and rush it, and it didn't really uh, work out for me. So I, I learnt to not rush it, and I have benefited a lot. But yeah, this boss is easy. Once you know the best times to hit him and how to manipulate what he does, it's fairly simple. Of course, if you're going for speed, which you might if you're playing the Robotnik's Revenge hack, uh, you might want to try and hit him in other in other places at other times. Like, you can hit him when he's coming down from these smashes, but you have to be quite lucky you don't clip through him as well as not get hit by any of his attacks. Also, not many people know that if you actually have him land in the middle of the screen and then go behind him, he uh, deploys little Robotnik drones from his jetpack. They're actually quite adorable. I don't really know how to deal with them much, because I never really used to do it. 
Yeah. I don't know how many hits you actually have to hit. Oh, there we go. Whee! And that's it! Sonic the Hedgehog 2 completed! Oh my god. Thank you guys for sticking through for Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I certainly hope you've enjoyed it, because I certainly enjoyed it. And I'm already looking forward to playing my favorite combination of Sonic games, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And I will be playing the original, I won't be playing the complete hack that everyone has recommended I play, because I want to keep it genuine as possible. <laughs> but yeah, no, the credits will roll, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Okay, thanks, bye.